Mark Glimpser is the skipper of Catapult, a Care 40. Uh, Mark did very well down here in Key West last year. He was sailing with the HPR boats, but there was an IRC subclass, and Mark won that. Uh, back this year again, and it's a little bit different competition. Mark, you've got a pretty full-on IRC class with a wide range of designs. Kind of just generally talk to us about that class that you're in this year. Uh, yeah, well, that's sort of the dream class for us for uh, IRC. We um, you know, get some of the faster boats, like the like the Kerr boats in there, and you know, the Mills boats in there as well, and uh, and the Swan 42s. It, it's everybody's got sort of a different condition that's that's right for them, and um, you know they're all very well sailed boats, and it's uh, it's great. We, we um, we definitely look for classes like this where we're not the fastest boat. As you look at the class and the designs you're competing against, is there a particular condition that you feel will favor your your boat? Well, uh, we in the Kerr family of boats, uh, <laughs> we all always prefer the breezy conditions. Right. Um, <clears throat> the boats, uh, of course, you know, most of the boats are in England, and so. Uh, I won't say the boat was designed for England, but it was designed for England. So um, you know, we we do very well in uh, you know in the over 15, over 16. Having been here last year racing Key West, kind of tell us what you like about it, the venue. I don't know how many other times you had been here prior to last year. What do you like about the venue? You know, I'm used to racing in the Northeast, so pretty much everything about it is uh, is a major step up. Mm -hmm. uh, in other words, it's not miserable all the time, and um, you don't uh, just try to curl up and stay warm somewhere. But no, it's. Um, <clears throat> It's fantastic, you know, racing in tropical waters is, is always fun. And uh, the town of Key West has a few distractions. <laughs> right, there's a few but, things uh, to do, huh? You know, it's just, it, it, to attract, also in, in the Northeast, we don't attract um, enough of the, um, you know, really good teams. We have, you know, people from Houston here, and, you know, a variety of the, you know, the top sailors come down here. I mean, this is just, you know, this is like the World Series. <clears throat> so um, that's all it is. Now, I think you're familiar with some of these boats you're going to be racing against this week. I think in your area where you sail in the summertime up in the New York area, uh, Long Island Sound, I'm guessing, you see Christopher Dragon, some of the Swan 42s. Are you familiar with some of these boats that you'll be racing against this week? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We've, um, we've been sailing with these guys since we were in the uh, J122, the last mm -hmm. catapult. And, um, uh, Andrew's been messing with us for years. He's very good at that. And, um, <laughs> and of course, uh, we have gotten a chance to sail against Ptarmigan, which is now um, Otrevez. Right. And uh, you know, the, and the and the Swans, um, Arethus is always, um, you know, you know, always there uh, dogging us. Right. And now they've um, pretty a modified boat this year. Yeah, to more to IRC, so, uh, right? Mm -hmm. so, even more painful. Of course, we're used to sailing against Decision at Spooky, which is you know who, who we've been uh, sailing with, and, and a few Far 400s, the HPR guys. Um, so sadly, we're not going to be sailing with them this year. Mm -hmm. But um, they do keep us on our game. Right. Now this is a beautiful boat. Uh, it just a clean lines. Just a gr we we're talking off camera. Just a beautiful design by Mr. Kerr. Well, tell us a little bit about your plans with this boat. Uh, you've had it a little over a year now, I believe. Uh, what are your plans moving forward? I think you mentioned off camera that you'll be going to England. Yeah, we're gonna give that a try. Um, we, uh, you know, we love sailing down here. Uh, thinking about the uh, 600. Which we did in the um, 122, mm -hmm. um, but I, I think we're going to get ourselves over to England and um, try and do a full season um, in, the, in the summertime. And there. I think we're you mentioned that there's a lot of other Kerr 40s, yeah. which will be there's fun for things. you. There's a lot of Kerr, Kerr 40s, and there's big breeze. Right. And, um, so that will be very exciting. We're in the Commodore Cup this year. Oh, that's uh, fantastic! We're on the uh, Irish team, and. Um, so we have some of those Irish guys sailing with us. I was going to say, are you Irish, Mark? I am now. I, uh, <laughs> You're adopted? <laughs> I mean, is it? about everybody's a little Irish? I'm pretty sure. Right, Irish, yeah. Okay. They, but, they say uh, that. But uh, I'm flexible. Right. I am flexible, absolutely. But uh, that's going to be a, that's gonna be a great, uh, great thing to do. We um, have modified our keel. Um, another um, 
foot deeper and bulbs shaved off about 800 pounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, it cost us a little on our rating, but we feel like uh, this boat is now really uh, optimized. Right. So we're going to see how that, how that goes. Well, and that Commodore's Cup will be great because you like doing some offshore racing. I think there'll be a combination of inshore buoy stuff and then maybe some distance stuff. Yeah, they've got the uh, around the island race. and. Um, this boat is amazing offshore. It's a, it's a you know, very light boat, but it's a fantastic uh, platform. Um, very, very stable, and you can really uh, you can really work offshore to get yourself up to the highest, you know, up to real high percentage of your capabilities. Right. Uh, without too much misery, and uh, it's a pleasure to sail this boat. Very, very exciting. Well, we wish you luck down here in Key West. It should be a great competition, and your class will be watching it closely. Thank you very much, Mark, for your time. Great. Thank you.